The International Day for the Protection of Education is commemorated every year to draw attention on the importance of protecting education to ensure that a generation of children are saved. As part of efforts to mark the day in Nigeria, the federal government has assured of support and protection of the nation's integrity, a national asset including education. The Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Magashi, retired, who spoke at an occasion to highlight activities to observe the day in Abuja, said education remains one of the prized assets of the country. Represented by the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Defense, Sabi Uzakari, General Magashi restated the commitment of the armed forces to ensure there is no breach in learning, even in the face of conflicts. Whatever stops our children, youths or teachers, from going to school is an attack on our education. Be it attack on the educational facilities, on the learners, or educational personnel. Abduction or sexual harassment of the learners or school personnel. Forced recruitment of learners or school personnel into armed group. For the United Nations Children Education Fund, UNICEF, Represented by Mrs. Judith Giwa, a safe school system is a priority that should be sustained by the Nigerian government as it remains a key catalyst to addressing the challenges of out-of-school children. We know that education is the acquisition of knowledge, you know, for, uh, for youth to be able to support the socio-economic development of a nation. Now when you have children that are out of school because they are afraid, because their parents are afraid, and due to fear, the parents prioritize them being alive than going to school. Then what are we saying about the next generation? It becomes an endangered species where children, they, you know, there's a gap and they can never meet up with their peers in other parts of the world. The 2020 edition of the International Day for the Protection of Children will be observed on Wednesday, 9th September 2020. CNN News.